in what way has COVID-19 positively affected your life? <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Dr. Wallace. Today I'm going to ask you in what way has COVID-19 positively affected your life? A lot actually, it's been a big challenge and like I kind of, I, I've been able to kind of reflect about, you know, what I really want because like I, it was a kind of like a troublesome time at work, you know, with work life balance as well. So like I kind of wanted to like looked at myself and said, okay, where do I really want to be, you know, in the near future and what do I really want to be doing and who do I want to be around? So, uh, yeah, actually it helped me kind of figure out what's next for me or like what am I willing to risk for that next step, I guess. I've learned a lot about work-life balance. Um, I think being able to work from home has been pretty interesting because I feel like that could be adapted to an extent going forward, you know, even after the pandemic, seeing how people can work efficiently from home and how that can, you know, change the way we approach work and, and work-life balance, I guess. Um, I was able to kind of reevaluate my values and things that um, are very important to me and make adjustments in my life where is needed. So um, I cut back on drinking and it improved my life drastically. And um, that was one thing that, that really benefited me during COVID pandemic. I think more reflections about what is important on your life and really because somehow you're facing a lot of uncertainty and you're kind of thinking of what is important in your life and what you should really change to really... Um, what really matters. Yeah, what really matters, mm -hmm. yeah, to pursue that, yeah. Had us refocus on what's important. As a result, we see people changing jobs and leaving jobs and realigning their lives with certain beliefs and values. So I think that's been beneficial. Oh, I think I've learned more about myself quickly than any other time in life. And uh, if it, it can be an opportunity for good change for oneself. Um, but I think it'll be interesting to see as we come out of the pandemic how we all are after, if we revert or if we go with the new changes. In what way has COVID-19 positively affected your life? Yeah, it's just made me value the things that you take for granted, you know. Um, and, you know, from, when it comes to traveling, being with friends, being with your loved ones, um, I think it's really trying to put value on, like, what's most important in life. Um, I think we were kind of caught up... Uh, you know, with work and grind and making money and we kind of all taken a step back to really value, you know, what's most important, which is like, you know, family, friends and loved ones. So I would say that's probably been the most positive thing. It's gotten, it's given a chance for us to actually spend time with one another, with the baby, um, spend valuable time getting to know each other because he was commuting for two hours a day before to and from the office. So we've gotten those two hours a day back and um, we've really used it to, to really bond and get to know one another and um, get to know this little human. <laughs> wow, I miss my family. I miss things like I have that thing every day. So, but now I cannot be with my parents. I cannot be with my kids because you not know, the pandemic or I cannot fly to anywhere. I think we value more these things like a family and the good life we used to have before. <laughs> COVID, mobility, yes. Mobility. <laughs> I think go back to just being grateful, right? Like grateful for being healthy and having family. Um, and living somewhere where like people feel the same, like vaccination rates are high in the Bay Area. Um, and you don't need to worry much about like your family or, and your kids. Well, it's helped me realize like who really um, is meaningful in my life and who I actually have a connection with and the people that just wanted to yeah, feed off my energy before COVID ha hit. So I really realized who my, who my real true friend slash family is. Yeah. It's given us a chance also with that time back to be well physically. So get exercise in, we got like a Peloton, uh, but go out for walks, you know, get on the bike, do at home, exercise workout. classes and workouts it's been really really nice in that regard so it's crazy to say this but during the pandemic i've been in the best shape of my life um eating better like you know and exercising more so that's been that's been nice well i think during the lockdown it was nice to to slow down and spend time at home i had an elderly dog and so i got to spend a lot of time with her in her last year of life and that was really a gift
The feelings that I've experienced is exclusivity. Um, a lot of people are tending to stay to themselves. Um, I'm actually empowered um, because I get to stay to myself. Um, I get to work on myself, my mental health, my physical health. Um, other than that, uh, I feel everybody is uh, doing well with the pandemic now that everything is clearing up. Uh, but it actually shows us it's very eye opening on a lot of the issues that we have going on in the world. I noticed that pollution went down immediately after it happened. And now this uh, promenade is uh, taking the place of cars and buses. So I hope that uh, a greener, uh, cleaner air uh, quality can be the consequence of all this. Since, since COVID-19 has pretty much affected everybody, everybody ha understands that the, the struggles. Um, so I guess hopefully there's more empathy that comes out of COVID-19 that people, you know, understand, oh, you have family issues that you're dealing with. You know, it's OK. Um, you can take it easier at work, you know, go home to your family, be with your friends, uh, your, your husband, your kids, take care of your parents. I think that hopefully empathy is the thing that we learn out of this. We're able to figure things out. And so it's good to um, to know that we have that power within us and um, that we can just collectively know that whatever struggle we're going through, as long as we're going through it together and finding solutions together, that um, we're all powerful as people.